Hi guys, welcome back to Astro Photography Quest. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best mounts under $1,000. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. Starting from the low end, the Ioptron Sky Tracker Pro. The Ioptron Sky Tracker Pro is a pretty good mount for starters, yet it doesn't support a very heavy payload. The payload on the Ioptron Sky Tracker Pro is not so great, it's only like 6 pounds. Now, the 6 pound weight can only handle a very small wide field lens and a very lightweight DSLR. This is only very useful for Milky Way photography. This will not be very useful for deep sky astrophotography as there's just not enough focal length on wide field lenses. The Ioptron Sky Tracker Pro retails for about $338 at OPT telescopes. Their website is optcorp.com. I will leave a link down in the description for each one of these products. Overall, I think the iOptron Sky Tracker Pro is a very good choice just for Milky Way. If you're looking to get into deep sky astrophotography, I would recommend one of the setups I'm going to list next. Alright, so the next setup I would recommend is the Skywatcher Star Adventurer 2i Pro. The Skywatcher Star Adventure is a very popular mount. The Skywatcher Star Adventure is a pretty good mount for beginners, especially for deep sky. It retails for around $520 at OPT telescopes as well. So I would recommend this mount for anybody looking to get into deep sky astrophotography but can't spend a ton of money at the time. Overall, it is a very good mount for deep sky astrophotography. But there is one drawback of this mount. The payload is still pretty low, so you would only be able to mount a very small refractor or telephoto lens on the mount. If you can afford a little bit more and can afford close to the $1,000 range, I would recommend the Skywatcher EQM35 Pro. The Skywatcher EQM35 Pro is a very robust, heavy mount. The Skywatcher EQM35 Pro can handle up to a 22 pound payload capacity. Though this is only for visual, so I would recommend only going for about 15 pounds at the most for deep sky astrophotography. Overall, this mount is a great mount for deep sky astrophotography. This mount can handle pretty big refractors, up to 100 millimeters. So this is a pretty good mount for starting out deep sky astrophotography when you want to get down to the nitty gritty of it. I have used it for a while now and I realize that it's much more robust than anything like the iOptron Skyguider Pro, which is around the same level as the Skywatcher Star Adventure Pro. The Skywatcher Star Adventure Pro retails around $970. If I had to choose just one mount, I would choose the Skywatcher EQM35 Pro. This is because you were getting a huge deal with this mount. It is amazing for what you get with it. Plus, it also comes with a tripod, so you get all the needed essentials plus your tripod so that way you wouldn't have to spend, well, an extra couple hundred dollars on a tripod. What mount did you decide to get and why? Please leave us a comment in the comment box below to let us know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you like my content, please subscribe. Anyways, until next time, clear skies.